Hey camp, welcome to running. Today we're gonna to be talking about pacing and then we're gonna have a bit of a drill for you guys to do. Um, so the first thing we wanna talk about is pacing. So when you're running, um, obviously we think about going fast, but when you're gonna go for a run, we're not gonna sprint that whole entire time because that's just an effort that you're not gonna be able to sustain. So when you start your run, you're gonna to wanna to start at a comfortable pace, try and go at a pace where you can kind of talk to your guide and you're able to breathe and talk and run at the same time. Um, that way you're running at a pace that you can sustain for however long you're going to be running for. So your first option for a drill is to go on a long run. Um, keeping pacing in mind, like we just talked about, as I'm running right now, I'm able to still be talking and giving you these instructions. So when you are running, you kind of want to be able to have that same, whatever you can talk at is a good pace for you. So try to maintain a pace where you can have a conversation. Um, so for the long run, you're going to grab your guide and aim for about five to 15 minutes of just like regular effort run. You're going to want to keep that pace maintained, um, five, 15 minutes, some safety things, make sure you are on a sidewalk or a path. And if that's not possible, make sure you're running on the proper side of the road, um, staying near the curb and communicating with your guide. So that being said, good luck, five to 15 minutes. You got this. So your second option is a little mini workout. Um, we're going to be going between hard efforts and a jog recovery so you can do this on um like a straightaway so if you have um just somewhere pretty flat that you can use about you're going to need to be able to run about like a hundred meters back and forth um so what we're going to be doing is we're going to be make sure you're really warmed up your body's loose feeling good um and you're gonna go between a hard effort. So your hard effort is going to be faster than the long run pace that we talked about. You're gonna probably not be able to hold a conversation during this effort, um, almost like a sprint. And then you're going to do an easy recovery jog. And the easy recovery jog is maybe even slower than what your pace would be, just like an easy, easy pace where you feel like you can catch your breath, get your bearings um, in order to do the next hard effort. So on this straightaway, you're gonna do a hard effort down one way and then do an easy recovery jog back to where you started. And you can repeat that about four to six times and see how you feel. Um, if you do have access to a track, you can also do this on a track using the long straightaways on the track as your hard effort and the um, rounded edge as the recovery jog and each straightaway you're going to open it up and do a hard effort and each rounded edge you're going to do the recovery jog. You can also, if you want to do it around your block, you can do that just marking off where you're going to do your hard efforts and where you're going to be doing your jogging and making sure that we are communicating with guides and making sure that we are following safety, staying on the sidewalks if possible. And yes, good luck. And you guys got this. I'm excited to hear how everyone does. So that is everything for running today. Um, I hope you guys enjoy your long runs or your little mini workouts. And if you have any questions, feel free to ask me or ask your coaches. Um, and I can't wait to hear all about it. Good luck.